Welcome back, everyone. Hope your Monday's going good. Hope you enjoyed yesterday's race and last night's race review video. Starting to have a lot of fun doing that. Kind of, again, like I talk about going through and doing some of the stats and finding out some interesting information of past years and past drivers and, and just going back and checking out some really fun facts. So anyway, I decided today we're going to go ahead and start on our second hobby box that we recently picked up. I'll do these later in the week. That one probably will do it tomorrow. Do these and I'm going to make a video with some information about the break, and I'll do that here probably at the end of the week, maybe this upcoming weekend. I won't have time to, uh, I, I want to get a couple more boxes of this, because I want to have about 12 spots total, because I've really got some good interest in this product. I want to, I want to uh, get a couple more boxes, so that, that way we can have about 12 spots. I think that'll, that will uh, be a nice number. And it would, it's going to be about an hour, hour and a half maybe to, to break that many or rip that many packs and go through them and, you know, get them sorted and separated and, and so on and so forth. So that's going to be fun when we get there. But anyway, for today, we're going to rip through a stack out of the 2021 Hobby Box of Donruss. So let's go ahead and rip this open, trying to find a nice spot on the box to get a good clean cut. Have to order more of this. I'm really having fun with this set. Uh, if you watch some uh, some of the other guys, Cleveland's pulled some nice stuff out of some retail boxes. I haven't been able to go out and look for any retail boxes. Danny has pulled some nice stuff over on his channel. And then I watched another guy, and I sent it to Danny. I can't remember the guy's name, the, the channel name. But he bought a box. Of, he bought one blaster box. He says he never does racing, he just was looking for something to rip on his channel for content. And he actually pulled a, I believe it was a William Byron, but he pulled a watercolor. And I'm not sure how how those are numbered, but I guess they're fairly rare. So um, I'll just scroll down this little list so that way you guys can see what's on the, on the uh, agenda here. There you see 2020 champion Chase Elliott on the front. Look for 5th Anniversary Buybacks. Maybe we'll get one out of this box. Our first box, of course, we got the Danica Buyback. And if you watched one of my other videos recently, I did uh, pull a Dale Jarrett Buyback in the rip off of Danny's channel. So it did pretty good so far. So we do have six. We do have six packs. And none of them look thicker. None of them feel thicker. So maybe we do have a buyback in this stack. That'd be pretty nice. So anyway, there you see Chase Elliott. There are the, again, the print runs on the white background black lettering. How we like it. Not that silver stuff that 2017 has that's so horrid, horrid and impossible to read. Put our game piece over here. We'll have to start entering some of those. Noah Gregson starts us off. And if you watched uh, the Xfinity race Saturday, Noah had the race won. I think it was about eight laps to go, maybe five laps to go. It was, it was just a handful of laps to go. David, he was coming up to lap David Star, and David had a tire go down, uh, crashed up and hit the wall, and Noah ran right in the back of him. Very, 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 you know, disheartening for Noah, but he'll have a good season. He's in a good team, and he's a good driver. Uh, next up, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., who's having a surprisingly solid season. Next up is Ryan Truex, Green Border. 14 out of 99, not too bad. Then we have a Contender's Ticket, Chase Elliott, Explosions Parallel, Chase Briscoe, Optic, Chase had a decent run on Saturday, I believe he was 18th or so, Cole Custer, Zane Smith, and Ryan Blaney, and Ryan's struggling this year, he's about 24th in points, so hopefully his team can get that turned around. Of course, Matt Benedetto is struggling a little worse than he is. He's 34th in points. So, just uh, just slow starts. Those guys will rebound. They'll be in the top 20 before long. Kyle Busch starts off pack number two. Then we have a Brad Keselowski car card. Brad's having a decent season so far. Joey Gase. Joey's going to run some cup races and some Xfinity races here and there. Don't think he's got a full season lined up on either side. Christopher Bell, last week's winner at Daytona. This is when he was driving for Levine Family Racing last year. Then we have another Brad Keselowski car card. This one is an action-packed explosion parallel. Then we have an optic of Todd Gilliland. Of course, Todd's driving for his dad's team, David Gilliland Racing. 
Denny Hamlin, who is the current points leader, and Chris Buescher, who led a career-high 52 laps in yesterday's race. So next up, I'm, I'm sitting here saying Chase Elliott's next up, but we haven't even opened the pack. Pack number three, let's fall asleep at the wheel here, guys. Get the game piece off and running to the side here. Start off with Justin Allgaier. Justin's kind of having a bit of a rough season in the Xfinity Series. I think they'll get that turned around too soon. Daniel Suarez has been a pleasant surprise with Trackhouse Racing. Basically, it's being run like a third children's team with support, technical support, and so forth from them. Spencer Boyd, Truck Series driver. Then we have a NASCAR Classics. And this one is a parallel 130 out of 199. Very nice. 130 out of 199. Get that one sleeved up here in a bit. We have an optic of Justin Haley. Of course, he won at Daytona a couple years ago in the Cup Series, driving for Spire Motorsports. We end this pack with Ray Black Jr., Tony Stewart, and Brandon Brown, all of the 88 throwbacks. So next up, pack number four. Let's see, we're not going to get a we're not going to get a relic hit, but we could get an autograph hit out of this. So we start this one with a rated rookie of Bailey Curry. Bailey Curry. Chris Busher is next. Talked about him a little bit having a great run on Sunday. Harrison Burton's kind of had a bit of a rough season so far in the Xfinity series. William Byron, yesterday's winner, second career win for William. Terry Labonte, Retro Series, Explosion Parallel. Really like these uh, Retro Series cards. I really like the way they look and the drivers that they feature. A silver, I've got a thumbprint on there. Silver Optic of Brett Holmes. We have Tyler Reddick, Race Kings, and Anthony Alfredo, Race Kings. So two more packs to go in this stack. This has not been... Uh, not been a strong box so far. I mean, that's some good stuff, but it hasn't been the the fire that we've been pulling. But it's not over yet. We got two more packs to go. Start with Austin Dillon. Then we have Bubba Wallace. We have another Austin Dillon Race Kings numbered eighty seven out of one ninety nine. Austin doesn't look happy there. Now we have a Dominators Explosions, Mark Martin. Very nice looking card there. Ray Black Jr. Optic. Kaz Grala. Brett Moffitt. Who's been running exceptionally well in the Xfinity Series this year for our motorsports. And Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Race Kings. So our final pack of the day. Don't know if we're going to get a hit in it or not. If we don't get a hit, we have still three more times, to, three more opportunities to get our hit. Start off with Dale Earnhardt Jr. Thought he was doing the Pledge of Allegiance there for a second. Don't know what season that is, but I'm um, sure it was probably about 2016, 2017 or thereabouts. Austin Hill, Truck Series regular. Todd Gilliland, Truck Series regular. Brad Keselowski, Gray Border, Race Kings. We have a Derek Cope, NASCAR Classics. Nice looking card. This was his Daytona 500 win, of course, 1990. NASCAR Classics, Derek Cope, Explosion. We have an Optic, Denny Hamlin. Then we're going to round out this stack of packs with Riley Herbst and Austin Hill again. So, got some decent cards to contribute to my set building for this year. Let's just kind of scroll back through a few of these. I really like that Derek Cope. It's a really nice looking card. Of course, we've seen the Ray Black Jr., the Mark Martin Dominators, Austin Hill, 87 out of 199. Blue Border, the uh, Brett Holmes Silver Optic with my thumbprint. We'll take care of that one soon. Like, again, I love this retro series. It's just a sharp-looking series. William Byron, a silver parallel. Justin Haley, optic. Bill Elliott, 139 out, or 130 out of 199 on the NASCAR Classics. Spencer Boyd, Todd Gilliland, Brad Kay, Explosion Parallel, Christopher Bell, Chase Briscoe, Chase Elliott, 
and the Ryan Truex numbered 14 out of 99 green border 88 throwback. So definitely got some cool stuff in this. No hits so far, but there are at least three more, hopefully three more hits in there. Maybe we'll pull a downtown, maybe we'll pull a watercolor. Who knows what we'll pull in, in that, but hopefully it'll be something really good and you guys will be the first to see it. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Tomorrow, we'll probably do another one of those stacks in there just to see where we're headed. Then we'll go to the 88, or the 88, the 17 Donruss. Maybe we'll do some of the absolute football there. we got a lot of options here, so we're just going to take our time going forward, but we're going to continue to enjoy what we're doing here. So I appreciate the likes. Our subs are starting to creep up again a little bit, which I do appreciate. So I appreciate the likes, the comments, the subs, and I'll have a video coming out. It'll probably be this weekend to give you guys more information about how we're going to do the 88, or the 88, the 92 Black Max 5th anniversary uh, rip. I want to get a couple more boxes. Like I said, I want to have about 12 spots total so more of you guys can participate because there has been a lot of nice interest in it. So I appreciate you guys hanging in there. Uh, I'm not going to go too often. The hockey was kind of a dud yesterday. Not the video, just the cards. Kind of frustrating. They had almost two identical packs, but that happens sometimes. But uh, appreciate all the support. Uh, so you guys enjoy the rest of your Monday. We will see you again tomorrow. Thanks for watching.